the document closest to Governor Sununu is the original 12 amendments. The Over, other Governor Sununu. The other Governor <laughs> Sununu. The, the Christopher <laughs> Governor Sununu. And they are the original 12 articles. We adopted 10 of them. So article number one today, the freedom of speech, would have actually been the third article. And it is signed by Vice President then John Adams. Virginia, which of the uh, articles in the Bill of Rights did New Hampshire reject? Well, actually, it wasn't just New Hampshire. It was all of the states rejected because they had to do with setting the number of representatives and the salary. Yeah. And we all know what happens when you set salary <laughs> into something. And the next one. So the next one, and I don't know if we have our friends here from the Independence Museum. Emma? Yeah. So if you would like to tell us about it. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emma from the American Independence Museum. Uh, the document you're looking at in the middle is a Dunlap broadside. That's an original printing of the Declaration of Independence printed the night of July 4th, 1776 in Philadelphia, sent to uh, New Hampshire state government, which was then headquartered in Exeter, we were the colonial capital. It's in the collection of the American Independence Museum, which is still in Exeter, um, and we're delighted to have it here today on view. Uh, it's one of 26 copies left in the world of this original printing, called the Dunlap Broadside, named after John Dunlap, the printer who printed it. And our last document, besides Governor Sununu and Governor Benson here, is an 1823 engraved Declaration of Independence. Um, w. Stone, William Stone, did this. It took him three years to make this accurate printing of the Declaration of Independence. It was ordered by John Quincy Adams, who was Secretary of State at the time. The Bill of Rights over there and the Declaration of Independence were actually found in the State House by Bill Gardner and workers working in the building. And they didn't think they were real because they were in such great condition. So just on a chance, they had them documented. And the ride down to Massachusetts to have them authenticated uh, was pretty casual, and the ride back was extremely uh, more secure. They were on display in the visitor center until 2006, um, and then moved to archives for safekeeping.